Welcome to Make Something With Me, David Picciuto, and today we're going to go over 10 woodworking projects you can make as Christmas gifts. Check it. All of these videos are from my YouTube library condensed down into one nice little package. If you want to see the full video in detail, I'll have links in the description and I'm going to make a playlist of everything. Some of these projects have templates and plans, which I'll link to down below in the description. Every year I make the same thing for all of my family members so I can batch out everything all at one time. So hopefully this sparks the idea for you to make a handmade wooden gift for your loved ones this year. Today's video is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends, a turn-based RPG game done right. Raid is one of the top three ranked RPGs on the Google Play Store, and it's just been nominated as a finalist for Google Play's Best of 2019 User's Choice Award. Raid is an epic dark fantasy done right, a hero collection turn-based game with over 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize. Gather orcs, undead, knights, elves, and more. Explore one plus million champion builds and enjoy a full voice story campaign. And the best part, it's free to play. Multi-battle auto mode and weekly tournaments and events. The game is growing super fast. They actually have huge plans over the next six months, so there's infinite content for you to enjoy. You can find me in the game under the name Pachuto Beast, and if you're quick enough, you can join my clan. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special link, and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck, and I'll see you there. Let's get this started with a tissue box. Everybody has tissues, so you might as well decorate it with a nice wooden box. This is what I made for my family last year for Christmas. I think I made 17 or 18 of them. And if you're gonna do this, batch them out. Cut all your pieces, then cut all the miters, cut the tops and then the bottoms, and then glue everything up. I made all of these in one day. I have plans for these down below. Everybody loved them and it came with a box of tissues. The top walnut piece that you see here, that just floats on top of the tissue box. I think it's a really cool design. Next up are these luminary lamps. I love this project. You don't need a lot of wood for this and you can make a whole bunch in a single day. Here you see me resawing some thick boards, but you could use pre-milled lumber from your home center or a hardwood dealer. And you might see some crazy angles here, but don't worry about it. All the joinery is super easy and we go over it in the plans. What I really love about this project is how customizable it is. You can use glass or acrylic or even wood veneers for the glowing luminary parts. And you can use a candle or a light bulb and you can add or remove embellishments as you need. A great project to batch out for your family this holiday season. Here we are with some finger jointed pencil boxes. Now you are going to need some quarter inch material for this. So you'll either have to resaw some wood or buy quarter inch material from your supplier. You're also going to need a way to make finger joints, otherwise known as box joints. I have two dedicated videos on this one at the table saw and one at the router. To go along with these pencil boxes, you're going to want to make some pencils. The most common way is with a pencil kit and a lathe. And this brand new way with a jig invented by Andrew Klein that makes six sided solid wood pencils. It's a super cool jig. I'll have a link to it down below. You can batch out a ton of these in a single day. Up next, we have bandsaw boxes. I have made a ton of these in my lifetime because they're so much fun and you can get crazy with the designs. As the name implies, you're going to need a bandsaw, but you don't need a big one. Here in the video, I'm using a smaller 10 inch bandsaw and it's all about the blade choice. The four boxes that you see here, I have templates for. I've also written a book where we get a little bit more crazy and creative with the designs and it goes into great detail. Links to those templates and that book down below. If you plan on making these, plan on spending a lot of time sanding. If you can take a shortcut by using a spindle sander and a disc sander, it's going to make life a lot easier. This one's obvious, cutting boards. Everybody needs a wooden cutting board for their kitchen. I probably have three or four different videos on making cutting boards. And of course, I'll link them down below as well as add them to the playlist. I've also written a book on making 15 different types of cutting boards, long grain cutting boards, 
end grain cutting boards, cutting boards with juice grooves, cutting boards with a knife holder built in it, cutting boards with a strainer built in it, all different kinds. The video that you're watching here, this is me making an end grain cutting board out of scraps. This is a great way to get rid of wood that's just been sitting around your wood shop waiting to be used. Everybody needs a cutting board. Next up are these wine displays. I have made more of these wine displays than any other thing in my lifetime. I have sold a ton at craft shows and given away many as gifts. If you're new to woodworking, this is a great first project to batch out. You just need a way to make straight cuts, a way to make curved cuts, and a way to drill holes. I have templates for these on my website. As you can see, I'm batching them out here, doing two at a time. When I give them away as gifts, I include a bottle of wine and a couple of glasses. A very classy and beautiful gift. And speaking of wine, let's make some wine boxes here. I'm making these out of some inexpensive pine. I don't put any finish on it. I just leave the pine as is. I like the way it yellows over time. I'm not a big fan of pine, but it just seems to work well for this particular project. You can see here I'm making them with box joints, sometimes called finger joints. I have videos on making box joints both at the table saw and the router. I'll have links to those videos down below. There's just something about giving a bottle of wine as a gift for Christmas. Maybe it's because nobody knows what a good wine is or what a bad wine is. So it seems like a thoughtful gift. And here's a great way to box it up. I like to use a hand plane to make some shavings to line the inside of the box. And if you have a wood burner or a laser cutter or a branding iron, you can burn an image on the outside of the box. Okay, one more alcohol related gift idea. I guess there's just something about the holidays that makes people drink. Anyways, I have sold a ton of these at craft shows as well and seems to be a very popular page on my website. I've always made them out of walnut plywood. I just really like using a nice quality plywood. It's cheaper than hardwood and the exposed edges just look cool on this project. There's no fancy joinery, just butt joints and dowels. If you pair this up with a local brew, put a bow on top, it makes a great gift. Up next, picture frames. Grandma used to say, if you haven't made a picture frame, are you even a woodworker? I've got a ton of videos on making picture frames, both simple and complex. And we just finished filming a video on making oval picture frames. I've got a video on how to make a spline jig to reinforce those corners. And I've got a video on making a sled for the table saw to help you make picture frames even faster. I've also got a video on how to mount and mat your artwork and seal off the back. Just imagine if you found an old family photo where everybody's smiling and you made a custom frame for that and gave that to grandma. That's just gonna make the best Christmas ever. Number 10 on this list are rings. Why not make that special someone in your life a Christmas ring? Every year, my wife and I re-retire our wedding rings and make new ones. So every year I get to put up a brand new ring making video up on my channel. So I've got a few of these. I've learned some good techniques and I try to do something different every single time. I will put a link to all six ring videos down in the description as well as add it to the playlist. What you're seeing here are our latest rings and we did a cool technique of having zebra wood going against the grain and then hand planing some shavings and wrapping that around copper. It was a really cool technique, makes for a beautiful and very strong ring. Plus, if you make your significant other a handmade wooden ring, I guarantee you, you're going to get kisses. I'll have a playlist to the full video of all of those projects linked somewhere here on the screen. Some of those projects also have templates and plans. There will be a link to that down below in the description. If you are new here, this is all about having fun. We put out a new video every single week. A lot of times it's about woodworking. Sometimes it's just about doing stuff. I like doing stuff. You like doing stuff? Let's do stuff together. So subscribe, hit that like bell. Like, there's a like bell? There's not a like bell. There's no. There's no like bell, there's a like button and a bell. I don't even know what those things do. Anyway, we'll see you next week with a brand new project or video. Who knows what we're gonna do. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. Out of focus, let's go out of focus. Woo, 
Look how out of focus that goes.